Hi, I'm Carl Thompson. Today I'm showing you how to deploy one system for ShadowSafe into Hyper-V. So opening up the StorageCraft Windows agent on the Hyper-V server, I'm going to deploy one system for managing ShadowSafe. So firstly, we're just giving it a username and password. This is just to access the back end of the appliance once we're up and running. And I'm just going through and following the wizard here to install. So really straightforward. This takes just a few seconds for the wizard to complete. And what I'd like to do is just show you what's now happening in the background. So opening up Hyper-V um, and then also Task Manager, I just want to show you that in the background, the agent is actually downloading the VHDX file for the VM it's going to deploy for us. So this uh, all happens automatically. Um, it does take a little while for it to download depending on your bandwidth. Um, and so what I'm just showing here is opening up the uh, default uh, Hyper-V machine location um, and you can see there the file, the part file that's downloading. Now I'm just fast forwarding this video um, so that we're not waiting. I think in this scenario it took a couple of minutes um, where it connects to the StorageCraft website and downloads the appropriate VHDX files and we can see here it's been deployed. Um, it's successfully finished and downloaded the AVHDX files and the VHD. Uh, and if we just uh, close off and go over to Hyper-V, we can see there the ShadowSafe VM that's now running. So if we go and uh, open the console to this VM, uh, we can see there it's, it's already started up and it's just sitting at the login screen there. Um, but if we go over to the networking tab in Hyper-V, we can actually see the IP address. So just going in here and connecting to that IP address. Sometimes this will take a few minutes to come up. Um, so just the, particularly the first time ShadowSafe boots up, it has a bit of work to do. So if this page isn't loading, just give it a, a refresh for a couple of times. And then the first time, as you can see here, we need to activate one system. So this is logging in with your StorageCraft account to activate one system. So if you uh, don't have a StorageCraft account, there's an option there to create it. Uh, and then going forward, once it activates online, um, you'll then need to create the username and password, um, which will be used to access and manage one system from the dashboard here. So I'm just going ahead, um, putting in my name, details, my company name, which will actually be registered as the first site in ShadowSafe, uh, as well as the password. So again, this is separate to the initial password that we configured, which is for managing the back end. But basically that's it. We're now deployed uh, and up and running. Thanks for watching my quick tutorial.